What's up guys? Welcome back. We have a 2000 F-250. Uh, it was towed in. Uh, hard time to start and this is the time that I'm going to put a video up of how to test some 7.3 glow plugs. I had a request and here's the video. Uh, make sure you guys give this video a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And tell me what you think in the comment section below. So, let me start off by telling you guys that we have a few components that are in the glow plug system. We have the glow plugs, the glow plug relay, the wiring, the engine oil temp sensor, and the PCM. Um, the PCM, which is down over here, is going to look at the engine oil temp sensor to determine whether or not it needs to turn the glow plug on to activate all eight glow plugs. So um, one of the things, you could have a failure with all five of those things. Probably not the wiring. I haven't done a whole hell of a lot of glow plugs on these. I mean, I have, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that many. So most, the most I've done is the relay, engine oil temp sensor, and the PCM. So one of the first things you want to look out for is when you're testing your glow plugs is if you hear the indicative click. And this is the click. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, you can hear that click from the relay. That right now is telling me that the PCM is grounding this circuit to energize this relay. If the PCM is grounding this, then it is getting the correct information from the engine oil temp sensor. If that is giving the right information and the PCM is grounding it, it can't do that with bad wires. So we just ruled out the engine oil temp sensor, the wiring, and the PCM. So right now, let me do it again. Okay, I got no click. I have my test light hooked up, and right now, there should be power transferring from this terminal to this terminal. Once this one gets fed, then all the glow plugs turn on. So what I wound up doing to get this vehicle in, key off, key back on, was, okay, it clicked. I got no light on my test light. Let me give this a little tap. Damn it, I did it out in the lot. Let's see if I can do it. There it goes. Key on, key off. See, it didn't go back on. You guys heard that click. Key on. Light on. So that's a quick way to tell if your glow plug relay is working. Right now I have verified that the relay is screwed up. I need to replace the relay. I drove it in just like I did, uh, how to get it running. Right now it started up and fired good. So now, okay, key off. So now that's just to check the system and if it's functioning. So if you've ruled all that out and everything's working fine and the vehicle's still not starting, there's a good chance that you could have some bad glow plugs. Now there's two connectors that go to the valve cover. They do your injectors and your glow plugs. I have that one disconnected. There is a special tool, a test lead, that I use. All the colored ones are the injector circuits, the white ones are the glow plugs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug, plug this in. Just like that. I'm going to take all my white ones, take all my white ones. Now. You guys know where all these glow plugs are sitting. They're sitting in the block. And the block is what? It's grounded. So what I'm gonna do, the resistance for these glow plugs are 0.2 to two ohms of resistance. 0.2 to two ohms, that's its range. So I'm gonna check this first one. There are the outside wires. If you don't have this harness, if you can get to the uh, valve cover gasket connector, 
uh, on the valve cover side, it is the outside terminals. So I'm checking gold plug number one within spec. Next one. Next one. 1.4. That's not right. Next glow plug. 1.5. Next one. I should say the last one. 0.5. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Um, it is a good indication to me in my professional opinion and experience. Um, I'm not charging this guy to test his glow plugs. I'm simply going to charge him to replace his relay and the, uh, the checkout that he okayed for the vehicle to come in. Um, however, judging by uh, how the vehicle started after clicking the relay on and that there was no smoke out the tailpipe, it's going to tell me that uh, these glow plugs are probably functioning just fine. So uh, this vehicle, like I said, was a 2000 and has 161, 237,000 miles on it. Uh, it came in also for an oil change, hard to start, blower motor only works on high, and shit. Oh, passenger side door lock uh, does not actuate. So we got a couple things uh, we're gonna be looking at. Uh, this guy right here is not popping up when I hit the, when I hit the button barely moving so we'll probably have to replace that actuator go here for this blower motor resistor but uh, yeah this is just a few things we're doing on this truck um, all right check out this 17 uh, eco boost uh, only got 400 miles on it they said they came out uh, this morning and there is a puddle underneath it uh, geez I don't even know where the hell this is leaking I still got a I still got some inspections to do. I can't tell if it's the front cover, if it's the oil pan. There's a bunch of uh, oil like down right in here so I don't know if if like that seems leaking on the front cover. Oh Christ. So yeah this is what we're uh, we're dealing with on this one today. It's definitely leaking, verified the concerns, just where is it coming from, so. I don't know what we're gonna do, if it's front cover, oil pan, do we pull it all out like we did the last one? I have no idea. But uh, I'll get another video up, guys. I got uh, another garbage truck, I gotta put an accelerator pedal on, and a fuel rail pressure sensor. So, it is a 6.7. Uh, I might do that today. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and always I Very very much. Thank you guys for watching